Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today is Tuesday, a very cold, rainy, miserable Tuesday here in Oklahoma City. But, I mean, if I'm gonna count the blessings, I'm gonna count that it's just rain and not snow. Tomorrow it's supposed to be snow, so I might be taking that back. Uh, I just got out the shower, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry in front of the fireplace today, because I think it's God's way of saying, girl, you don't need to go out. Look how miserable it is and all those viruses out there. Just stay home, create some recipes and crochet. So I'm gonna listen. And I'm going to record everything I eat today and today is not an animal source food only day so you can see other things that I enjoy. And as always, I got up this morning and I brewed a pot of coffee. Well, today's coffee is brought to you by Jason Scott. I love Jason Scott brand and this peanut butter cup one is delicious. A good friend of mine sent this to me for Christmas and I'm not exactly sure where she picked it up at but when I pick them up I pick it up at Tuesday morning for $3.99 and it's delicious coffee. If you've never had it I highly recommend Jason Scott and no they are not sponsoring this video that's just a joke I have no sponsors of course and Jordan Skinny Syrup. Today's flavor is chocolate hazelnut, one capful. My coffee pot is really throwing a fit today. And one tablespoon of natural bliss half and half, unsweetened. It's half almond, half coconut milk. For one tablespoon, it's 10 calories, one gram of fat. There's zero carbs, zero sugar, and zero protein in this. Can you say, I, can you tell I've said that a lot? Uh, I find it at Target for $3.19 in my area. I have seen it at some Walmarts, but not all Walmarts. And it's my go-to when I'm not doing the animal source food days. And I just use my handy dandy frother to froth it up. If I ever broke this, I'd be in trouble. I would cry. Actually, I'd get right on Amazon and order and another one and have it delivered the same day. That's how much I love this thing. And I am going to have a snickerdoodle muffin. I released this recipe earlier today on the channel, so if you're interested in that. I had mine stored in the freezer, so I just took it out and put it on the counter, and I'm going to let it thaw for a little bit. And this is how I'm going to get my day started. I usually have two tumblers of the coffee, and then the rest of the day it's water. Well, today, I think because it's so cold and miserable, I am gonna throw some chai tea in there sometime, but I'll let you know what all I drink today. I'll put it down in the little writing that I add in the video, <laughs> how many I've had of each, and the macros on that. And we'll see what I get into the rest of the day. I am going to try to create a recipe for a chaffle called Coquito. I am so sorry to my Puerto Rican friends if I am butchering that word, but I think it's called Coquito. I hope I'm saying it a little bit correctly. <laughs> um, I've only had it one time in my life and it was like over 10 years ago and a viewer asked if I've created a recipe like that or she was trying to create a recipe and asked if you know I would like to try at it as well and I thought that sounds amazing. From what I remember it was delicious. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I hope I come like just even halfway close to what I remember the drink tasting like. If you've never had it, it's like a Puerto Rican eggnog and it's delicious. So hopefully I do it justice or at least like get to where it's delicious even if it's not spot on. <laughs> Cause it's probably gonna be really hard to be spot on. Um, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So that is what I'm going to do today and you will probably see me eat that next if it doesn't like deflate on me. You will see it if I eat it because I'm going to record everything I eat today. So if you're interested in seeing what I eat today, stick around. It'll happen. Okay, next thing I'm eating is this coquito chowaffle that I just created for the channel. It's two chowaffles that I cut in half, and you will see me when I go to eat again. Okay, next up is this fire yogurt. And I added a capful of Jordan Skinny Syrup, the glazed donut, to it. And you know the routine. You'll see me when I go to eat again.
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to make myself for dinner is a meat lasagna. I won't go through the whole recipe. I do have a recipe that's similar on the channel. I will link it down in the description box below in case you're wondering how I make it. But I found this ground turkey breast on sale at Target, so I'm using this today. It's one pound, but I'm only using half a pound. The other half of it I'm going to make my husband's spaghetti with. So... I'm also using this Farmer's Market Classic Marinara Prego. It's got five servings in it, and it's uh, eight carbs, but there's three grams of fiber, so it's five net carbs per serving. Again, I'm dividing this in half because, like I said, my husband will be having spaghetti. And for my noodles today, I'm going to use the oven roasted turkey breast, and I'm also using eight slices of smoked provolone cheese. Ricotta, one fourth cup of ricotta cheese. One fourth cup of Parmesan finely shredded cheese. Two tablespoons of the Parmesan Romano grated. Italian seasoning and garlic powder. So I have calculated up all my macros that will be in my lasagna and I will post that but Again, I won't show you the whole recipe today, but this is all the ingredients that will be in my lasagna. Okay, here's my lasagna. I just pulled out of the oven and cut. I did cut it into four portions. I got one portion on my plate, and this is what I'm going to enjoy for lunch. So you will see me when I go to eat again. So with my lasagna for dinner, I'm going to make myself a garlic parmesan chaffle. I got the one large egg. I brought up to room temperature and whisked. I got one fourth cup of parmesan finely shredded cheese. I have two tablespoons of the parmesan romano grated cheese and a sprinkling to my taste of garlic powder in there as well. And those are the ingredients I'm going to use to make my chaffle. Okay, so for dinner, I have another serving of the lasagna with those garlic parmesan truffles that I showed you. I just use a pizza cutter to cut them. So I am going to enjoy this, and this is going to wrap up my full day of eating. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.